we're going to have a quick look at what we've done with the electric guitar. You can see under the modeling guitar, we have it set up to be the uh, uh, Les Paul type guitar. We have uh, the chorus effect that's been added to it. And something that's kind of exciting, if we look over here under the effects chain, um, we can see that I have an EQ module that's active. Now one thing that's really cool that we can do with the VG99 is you can take one control source, like a foot pedal or a foot switch, and you can have it do a lot of things at the same time. So in this case, I set the uh, system up so that as I turn down the volume on the guitar, it's actually going to add a little bit of output gain and a little bit of trouble to the uh, output from the amplifier. And this is to counteract the way that, you know, if you, if you have a real guitar and a real amp and you turn down the volume on the guitar, you kind of lose, you get a little bit of that treble roll off. Well, I wanted to keep some of that clarity. So as I turn down the volume knob on the guitar, this module is going to add in some extra total gain and it's going to add in some high end as well. <laughs> turn that EQ module off without it this is what it would sound like turn it back on now if I get the if I turn the volume all the way down then regardless of the additional EQ I've turned the guitar signal off but this is a nice way as you back off the volume level on your guitar to kind of clean up the tone a little bit you can add in a little extra output and add in a little extra trouble and then the more you crank up the gain, that extra bit of trouble goes off and you're just back to the straight output from the amp. And that's on the uh, low gain setting. Here's the same thing with the high gain setting. features on the VG99 software. If we look over here under the mixer settings, this is where we have the uh, two guitars panned left and right. We set up the overall uh, reverb and delay signals. And one thing that we've added is on the uh, acoustic guitar, let's go maybe turn that up to five milliseconds. We've added in a five millisecond chain delay, meaning that we're going to delay uh, the acoustic guitar sound by seven milliseconds relative to the electric guitar sound. And this is what that sounds like. Now, seven milliseconds isn't a lot. It's the time it takes sound to travel seven feet. But the idea, again, is to recreate. We've got two guitars layered together here, and we just don't want it to sound like, if, if the guitars were exactly the same and you layered the guitar, it would not sound like two guitars. It would sound like a guitar going through, you know, two different effects pedals that you really wouldn't hear any clarity. But with the VG99, we've detuned the acoustic guitar very slightly relative to the electric guitar. We've also put its own uh, ambience uh, reverb just on the acoustic sound. And then we've also delayed the acoustic sound by seven milliseconds. So the effect is a much wider, broader sounding layering of guitar. 